In 1965, James Stockdale, an American pilot, was shot down during the Vietnam War. He was captured and spent seven years as a prisoner of war. And during this time, he was often tortured. But one of the worst things done to him was that he was held in isolation away from other prisoners. The only people he saw was guards and his interrogators. And as he looks back on that time, Stockdale says that it was his hope that kept him alive. The hope of one day going home that each day could be the day of his release. Without hope, he knew that he would die in hopelessness as others had done. Now in John chapter 5 verses 1 to 9, we also see the description of a man whose life seems hopeless but then he has an encounter with Jesus and everything changes. So let's read it together. Now there in Jerusalem, near the sheep gate, a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades, here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, and the paralyzed. And one who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. And so when Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the waters is stirred. While I am trying to get in, Someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and he walked. This is the word of God. Now the legend according to some manuscripts of John's Gospel was that an angel would descend upon the pool of Bethsaida and stir the waters. The first one in the pool when the waters were stirred would be healed of their ailments, whether blindness, paralysis, or some other chronic issue. But when Jesus shows up, he ignores the myth of the angel. And Jesus focuses instead on a man who had been lying there for 38 years. And so Jesus challenges the man, do you want to be made well? Now why in the world would Jesus ask such a question? I mean, who wouldn't want to, make, to be made well? Who in their right minds wouldn't snatch the first opportunity that came along to be healed and to be able to walk again? But some difficulties in life can last for a long period like in this man's situation. Just think 38 years of waiting for your chance to get well, but with no success. Somewhere along the way, his focus might have shifted and his desire might have ceased. Disappointment might have struck with all hope completely gone. So Jesus might have asked such a question because he wanted to see whether the man truly wanted to be healed or whether he was used to being there and it was the only way of life that he knew. So Jesus gives him a simple challenge. Stand up, take your mat and walk. And immediately the man got well. He picked up his mat and he started walking. All the effects and side effects of his long illness were removed at once. Isn't that amazing? This man who had not been able to do anything for himself for 38 years was instantly able to do everything that a healthy man could do. Now we might have developed a way of living with our difficulties or coping with our life. Any healing we might have desired could seem a remote possibility. But no matter how hopeless our situation may seem or how trapped we feel in our limitations, God ministers to our deepest needs. So don't let a problem or hardship cause you to lose hope. 
Jesus will come to your pool no matter how long it might take. So let us not get used to the conditions that we are in, but always be waiting for Jesus to move in our lives. So let us pray. Healing God, we pray for those who are sick and paralyzed by the hopeless situations of their lives, who wait for a helping hand that in Jesus may again show his loving power in their lives. And so, Father, as we ponder upon the challenges of life that paralyze us, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.